I have this video planned for a while now discussing the reasons why people have recently said Euphoria shouldn't return for a third season. All these reasons that we're talking about all have been things that I plan to talk about well before learning about the recent passing of Angus Cloud, which has only added another reason why people are calling for the show to end. But that's not one of the reasons we're going to talk about today. Like I said, I've had this video planned for a while, but I just figured I would add that in because that is something that recently did happen. Now, I love euphoria i remember when the trailer came out for the show and just watching it over and over again feeling like this was going to really be something big pursuit of happiness played and i just felt like wait is this going to send me back to high school or something i just felt like people needed some sort of raw depiction of the high school experience and this was about to give it to us and i will say that now that the show is out it's certainly an extreme version of high school but it got people talking and it was was a huge hit. So I don't want to come off as some sort of person that's like, oh, I don't like Euphoria, it should end. No, I like Euphoria, okay? But there's things that have happened and things that have come up over the years since it's aired that people are like, I don't really know if a third season is in the cards for them. I think that HBO will maybe still try to do it just because it has been an award-winning show for them. But a lot of the fans recently have just been losing interest in the idea of it coming back for that third season. Now, when Euphoria first aired, I remember waiting every single week for the episodes to drop summer of 2019 and falling more in love with the camera work and the soundtrack of the show. And by that Halloween, everyone was dressing up as the characters from the show. Everyone wanted to do Euphoria makeup. I mean, I remember going and looking up the makeup artist that did the makeup for the show and what products she was using and buying them for my friends and we were all using them. It was a time. Even if you weren't watching the show, you knew of the aesthetic because one of my friends had a birthday party. She didn't watch Euphoria, but it was Euphoria themed and it was just because it was fun to glitter up and do the eyeshadow looks and dress like the characters of the show. The hype was huge and Zendaya was winning awards for the show and the anticipation for season two was all anyone was talking about. As each episode dropped, theories swore world online about what would happen the following week and Although the season was good, some people were starting to note that in season two, the fan theories were almost better than what was unfolding on the actual show. People had a million theories for what was going on when Rue was in Lori's house, and yet she just managed to escape and we didn't really see her face any consequences yet for not having the money to pay her for the contents that were in that suitcase that she got from her. People were also expressing their disappointment in Kat's character season two too, as she was feeling more like a side character and everything that had happened with her in season one when she was a whole main character seemed to get undone this season. From her and Ethan breaking up to how she was acting this season, she just didn't really have like a main storyline that was fitting with everyone else. And the way that she was when she was on screen, people were like, I don't like Kat. Like, I just don't like her when she was a fan favorite from season one. At one point, Dumas ended up posting a tip on their story saying, Euphoria T, Barbie Ferreira, Euphoria. New season of Euphoria is going to be real dark. So much so that some actors, especially Barbie Ferreira, were not vibing with the director's vision. Barbie got into it with him on set and left one day. He then cut a lot of her lines, hence why she's not in the trailer or at the premiere. And Dumas wrote on the story, this was the Euphoria email I was referring to last week. If true, it makes sense because Kat has been done dirty this season so far. Speculation kind of started as to what happened and if this was a reason behind her not being in season two so much and rumors swirled even more as to whether or not she had butted heads with Sam Levinson, the show's director and writer. And I mean, with the way the people were reacting to how she was in season two, the rumors were not hard to believe. And after some speculation, Barbie ended up announcing on her Instagram that she was leaving the show entirely, posting to her story saying, after four years of getting to embody the most special enigmatic character, Kat, I'm having to say a very teary eyed goodbye. I hope many of you could see yourself in her like I did and that she brought you joy to see her journey into the character she is today. I put all my care and love into her and I hope you guys could feel it. Love you, Catherine Hernandez. A few months ago, she did end up opening up more about leaving the show on Dak Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, where she said that she didn't actually leave set one day because of a fight, because that's what Dumas posted in the tip. 
but she said that she had sprained her ankle one day and that's the only time that she ever left set. But in regards to her character in season two, she didn't feel like Sam could relate to Kat in that he writes for things that he relates to. You no, know, is that you're not on the show anymore. Yeah. And that maybe you walked off set one day. I actually did not walk off set. Okay. I can imagine that being overblown. And also, oh, like, what does that mean off walking set? off set? Yeah. You left for the day? Yeah, I like, just sprained my ankle once and had to go get an x ray. Maybe that's what they mean. Did you want to leave the show or would you have preferred to stay? I think it was a mutual decision. I think my character, who I love so dearly, I don't think there was a place for her to go. I feel like with season two and having certain parts of it that I felt was a kind of a struggle for both parties. Sam, me, it was a struggle to find the continuation of her. Mm -hmm. So that was actually really hurtful, watching it and seeing the fans get upset. I don't know, I just felt like maybe it's like I overstayed my welcome a little bit. Sam writes for like things that he relates to. I don't think he relates to Kat. I relate to Kat, so I could go on my own path. And yeah. at first I was like, oh my God, I'm a flop, I'm a loser. It really has been a good thing. Season two aired in 2022, and as time has gone on, people have been wondering when to expect a season three. But the dates have only continued to get pushed back. And with the recent strike going on in Hollywood, the dates have been pushed back even farther to 2026. People were just like, the characters won't even look like they're in high school anymore, speculating that there will be a time jump, but people were also just feeling like where the story left off in season two, they need to pick right back up where they left things because there was so much to unpack still. So who knows what will happen, but this news already had people feeling like they won't care a couple years from now. And aside from people feeling like waiting all of that time just wasn't gonna be for them, Sam Levinson, the show's writer and director, also found himself facing backlash on several occasions as people have started questioning his use of nudity in his shows. Following the release of his recent project, The Idol, starring Lily Rose and The Weeknd, he found himself with a lot more people against him. The show received tons of backlash for its raunchy and disturbing storylines, with most scenes feeling wildly unnecessary to the story, glorifying abuse, and strangely written storylines of locking away the intimacy coordinator at a photo shoot. And all of these things had people starting to question Sam. They were like, wait, is this guy okay? Like what's going on? Reports claims that the show's original director had the main focus of the show surrounding a woman who was finding herself sexually. But once Sam joined the project, it was turned into a show about a man who gets to abuse this woman and she loves it. Almost everything being said about the storyline of the show was negative with people criticizing Sam saying, I watched one episode of The Idol and I would like to ask every woman in Sam Levingston's life if they are okay, because the way this man feels about women is radiating off the screen and holy hell he hates us. The only thing he likes is when women suffer. Just watch The Idol and have to say Sam Levinson deserves prison time for this one. Sam Levinson really played himself. He lost a lot of the good reputation he gained with Euphoria. After The Idol, I don't see how anyone could be excited about anything with Sam Levinson attached. People then started to question his use of nudity in Euphoria, talking about how there's a lot of scenes where it feels unnecessary for there to be nudity, but there seems to be nudity anyway, and just all around criticizing Sam. People also referred back to an interview that Sydney Sweeney had done where she talked about what it was like working with Sam and said that there were times where she felt like there was unnecessary nudity with her character Cassie and she had expressed that and he was like, okay, let's take it out. So that was something that people were like, see, like he does put these like moments in there that don't need to be in there. And why is he like this? Definitely after the idol, people were looking at him differently and just feeling a little different about euphoria. Reading into scenes from the past season and interviews that the cast has done, it just felt like there has been more and more people that have come out to say that this show should not continue. As much as people have been fans of the show and there was a lot of people that were expressing want for a third season after season two it just felt like as time went on people were like you know what i'm good now i'm sure if it did continue and a third season was put out in a few years people would tune in out of curiosity i'm sure i'm gonna tune in for curiosity if it's actually a thing but i want to know what you guys think about the show and what people have been saying about whether or not they should try and produce the third season let me know all your thoughts in the comments I I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.